Hi, welcome to our whole excellent sequencing pipeline web tool tutorial. In this first tutorial, we're going to show you how to upload your files and run an analysis. As you probably know, you need to be registered in order to use the web tool. After logging in, you need to go to the submit section and you'll be asked to create a new study. A study basically contains all the information regarding your project. When your study is created, you're going to be able to enter the project page. where You're going to find some details about the project and all the details about your files and your current analysis. Right now we have no files uploaded, so let's just go on the Upload File section. Soon you'll be able to upload your files from a web link, from Dropbox, from a FTP connection. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to upload files directly from your PC. Just browse the folder where your files are located and select them and click on the Start Upload button. In this case, I have just three really tiny BAM files and this step is going to require some more minutes in with real life fast queue files and slower connections so we just have to wait and have a bit of patience of course you're going to be able also to upload different kind of files such as fast queues or compressed files and the, co the compression step is going to take place directly in, on our servers and here it is. After the upload is completed just click on the continue button and if you need any uh, reordering of uh, any paired end uh, files you just need to assign two files to the same lane but it's not our case so let's just uh, assign one file for each lane and click on the continue button. Next step is metadata assignment if you want, you can assign metadata such as sample information, organisms, and so on. You just create a new sample, actually, three new ones. I'm assigning them. Actually, this is mother. When the metadata assignment is over, you just have to click the continue button. Okay. So, the upload com process is complete. We return to our study page and we can see our files with all the information. The next step, if you want to start an analysis from these files, is to select the files that you want to analyze and click on the Design New Analysis button. You'll be asked to label your analysis and you can choose from several parameters of the default pipeline or you can just safely leave the defaults when you're done you click on the start analysis button and your analysis is created and will be submitted to the cluster for execution if you click to the analysis page button you'll be redirected to the analysis page where every step is monitored and you can see the step status at each moment, for instance, skip or, or uh, error if something went wrong or completed. Now I'm going to show you a completed analysis and how it looks like. We return on our 
uh, institute page. In this case, we have some public data we analyzed. This is analysis that is completed. And here we have all the steps that are labeled in green because they are completed. And you can restart a new analysis from any of these steps from with different parameters, for instance, or access the resolve page. So our first tutorial is over and our next one will cover the results page and browsing and filtering uh, the results section. Please send us your comments from the feedback section of the website and thanks for watching.